RGB lights. Yeah. Wow. Looks, Morph, it's a rainbow. Oh no, Smorf. I'm sorry, but rainbows don't stay forever. Hmm. I have an idea, Smorf. Why don't we learn about the colors of the rainbow? There's a project we could do to help out a unicorn and learn about rainbows. Shall we give it a go? This is Janet the unicorn, but her awesome light up horn has stopped working. Yes, it used to shine with all the colors of the rainbow. Let's help Janet by using our circuit skills to make a new light-up horn. What do you think, Smurf? <laughs> the first thing we'll need is a special RGB light. The lights we've used before can only make one color, but this light has three colors inside it, red, green, and blue. That's why it has more legs. <laughs> you got it. That's R for red, G for green, and B for blue. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Smorf. We can still make all the colors of the rainbow with just these three colors, just by mixing them together. Huh? It's a bit like mixing paints to make different colors for a picture. Oh, Let's start making our circuit. First, we'll need some electro dough. We'll use different colors of electro dough for each leg so we can remember which is which. What else do we need? Buriragi. Yes, we need power. Let's get our battery pack. We'll connect the black wire to the short leg on the right and the red wire to some electro dough. Are you ready to try connecting a light? Yeah! Okay, let's start with the green leg. Wah! Now let's touch the red one. <gasps> yes, it turned the light red. What do you think will happen if we touch the blue leg? <laughs> of course, it turns blue. <laughs> it might be only three colors now, but we can touch more than one leg at the same time. What do you think will happen if you touch the red and blue legs? Mm. That's right, you make purple. But because we are mixing light and not paint, our purple color is much brighter. We call this magenta. Wow. Now what about if we touch the red and green legs? Yes, if you mix those colors using paint, you just get a brown. But with light, it makes yellow. <gasps> wow! What about green and blue? <laughs> we get a beautiful light blue called cyan. <gasps> Ooh, interesting idea, Smorf. What does happen if we mix all the colors? Let's try it out. <gasps> yes, when we mix all the colors of light together, we get white light. White light always has all the other colors inside it. Uh, yes, that does have something to do with how rainbows work. The light that comes from the sun is white light, so it's made up of all the colors. When you see a rainbow, white light is passing through lots of small raindrops which split the light into different colors, making a rainbow. Once the raindrops are gone in the sky, the rainbow fades away. Screens, like on a TV, computer, or tablet, make color through light as well. A screen uses light to create all the shapes that make up the pictures you see. If you zoom all the way into a screen, you can see that the picture is actually made of lots and lots of red, green, and blue lights that are mixed up to make all the colors. Interesting question, Smurf. Yes, I guess if someone were watching a video of us right now, then they would be looking at a screen made of lots of tiny red, green, and blue lights that come together. <laughs> I don't think they can talk back to you, Smorf, but yes, I'm sure they're enjoying it. So now we've learned all about RGB lights and rainbows. Do you think you're ready to help Janet light up her rainbow horn again? <laughs> Let's do it! Amazing, Smorf! Now Janet has a beautiful rainbow horn and can be a super cool unicorn again. Mm -hmm. Cool idea, Smorf. Why don't you give it a go?
Ah, that's an amazing color-changing torch, Smurf. Now you can light up your house with any color of the rainbow. What? Discovering new things is loads of fun. I can't wait to learn more with you next time. See you then.